Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and this is not a clickbait video, uh, but there's a little bit more of a shining light at the end of this tunnel. Uh, so the title is correct, the thumbnail is correct. We are losing the boutique, the warehouse, uh, or we're getting out of the warehouse, the boutique. And as much as it sucks to leave and lose the boutique, even though we've only had it open for about seven or eight months now, uh, maybe not even that, probably six or seven months, there is good news going forward. All right, so jumping right into this one, I think I've mentioned it in previous videos, the warehouse, the area, the, uh, the kind of the storefront that we purchased, or excuse me, leased, was kind of a temporary solution. Uh, we knew that it wasn't going to be the kind of the long term solution warehouse uh, store or area that we were going to be in. Uh, but this has definitely happened a little bit sooner or a little bit quicker than we actually wanted to have it happen. But this is actually a good thing in the long run because, uh, number one, the place was very expensive. I knew that going into it. Uh, we got into this at kind of the height of the shutdown and everything that was going on. So there wasn't a lot to choose from. We picked this spot because uh, it is a good spot and it's very close to where I live. So it was easy to get to but there were a lot of cons or kind of downfalls with the location. Uh, number one being there uh, is no elevator and we're on the second floor. So doing anything like unloading trucks and getting the stuff up to the warehouse. Uh, and we did later get a second uh, unit on the downstairs, which is a lot easier to put stuff in. But getting that stuff up to the second floor was a huge pain in the butt. So we knew the long term goal for the warehouse was actually getting a real warehouse that would accommodate trucks backing into it, an actual loading dock, something that we could take directly off of trucks and move it directly into the warehouse, unloading pallets, stuff like that. And then on top of the lease being very expensive, uh, the economy is, uh, we've talked about this in previous videos, uh, this is a huge discussion on a lot of the Facebook groups right now, uh, especially the one that I run. The economy is taking a huge hit and everybody is seeing big sales drops and we are not lost on that one. Sales are down year over year by large percentages for a ton of people, including us. Uh, and I knew that this was going to get even worse going month over month uh, in a, and coming into this year, which is still very unknown. So it was kind of something in the back of my mind. I knew I kind of wanted to get out of that and into something a little bit easier, a little bit more cost effective which is where we're at right now and we have to get out of the place that we're in. So what we're doing right now, and I've let a lot of people know in the groups, we're in the process of moving locations. But as far as supplies or anything like that, nothing is changing. We're still keeping everything. Uh, we're moving stuff to just a big storage area right now so that we can easily access all the orders, anything like that. So anything coming in, we are seeing a few delays right now as far as like shipping because stuff is in two different locations. Uh, but moving forward, it's still gonna be easy to get in there. But it's going to be very easy to get in there and handle orders uh, going forward just the same as we always have until we can pinpoint the new location where exactly we want to move. The other kind of blessing in disguise with this one is also uh, I just got married this last year and my wife and myself are in two different areas right now. She took a job that's a little bit further away. So the long term goal again is to move over there with her. And again, that was something that we kind of had in kind of a uh, long term timeline uh, because the driving back and forth, going back and forth is never fun for anyone. Uh, so we knew the ultimate goal or the long term goal would be to, would be to move everything over there because that's going to be our new location. And honestly, getting out of the warehouse and getting out of the boutique right now kind of moves that timeline up a little bit quicker, which is a very good thing for us. But the bottom line is it does suck to lose the boutique because, uh, like I mentioned in previous videos, we'd only been open six or seven months. We were starting to get some good uh, kind of foot traffic. More people were starting to come in. People were recognizing us. So to get out of it so soon, uh, it kind of cuts a lot of that off. Uh, also losing two very good employees that were there with me, helping me build this stuff. So uh, kind of restructuring everything is definitely a tough one. And quite honestly, I'm excited to get into the new spot, even though I still don't know when I'm, when I'm going to be in the new spot. Uh, but like I mentioned in previous videos, there were a lot of downfalls with the area that we were in, especially the boutique, being on a second floor, being kind of a block or two away from the high traffic areas, which are the waterfront downtown. Uh, it really wasn't a destination spot. So uh, again, I mentioned previously, it wasn't the best location for a boutique. Uh, it was a good spot for a warehouse because not many people are going there for or the warehouse. But when you're trying to open and run a boutique, you definitely want to be in an area that has a lot of foot traffic, a lot of drive by traffic, a lot of people coming in and out. So that's definitely the one thing that I'm really looking forward to going into the next spot is we absolutely know what to look for in the next one. So I think the next spot that we go to is going to be, uh, I mean, 10 times better 
as far as the warehouse and the boutique are concerned. So that's pretty much it with this one. I just wanted to get in here, talk about that one because a lot of people do know about it already in the Facebook group. So I wanted to make a video on it and I will be doing some more follow-up videos on that one. I've got some footage of getting stuff out of there, moved out into the storage areas. And then of course I'll be doing any future updates in videos talking about the new space and kind of what we're thinking uh, and definitely get some ideas from people who uh, are gonna be coming into the shop, what you would like to see in a warehouse, in a boutique, uh, if you were to stop by. And I also did want to mention that we're still open for business as usual. Uh, right now, the shipping is a little bit pushed out. We're trying to get everything out as quick as possible during the move, going between two different locations. Uh, but we're still going to be getting new stuff in. Uh, we're doing a melter pre-order. So we've got some new melters coming in. Uh, those are on pre-order right now. We're looking at probably three, four weeks for some of those. Uh, and then, of course, the vessels, which are on sale right now. And then new stuff coming in as well. So definitely stay tuned. Uh, keep watching the videos. Keep looking at the website. Sign up for the email if you haven't so that you know when new stuff comes out. And of course, if anybody has any questions, uh, I'm trying to be as open and transparent with this as much as possible because I know people do come here. Uh, follow me, follow the tips uh, that follow the journey because you guys are out there doing the same thing. So if you're in a similar situation where the economy is starting to kind of take effect, uh, let me know how it's affecting you, what you're doing to get around it. And if you have any questions on this and the new move, please, again, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll update that and throw it in the next video. So if you liked the video, hit thumbs up, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.